Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, I don't know how well you can see it or not, but Slinky's up there. The reason why Slinky is up there is he took a shot in the head from uh, Blunt and was uh, exhibiting some definite uh, signs of envenoming. Uh, so, you know, he was in there twitching and moving around and rubbing his head against the wall in the substrate and he was uh, becoming more and more of a target from his cage mates. So I wanted him out of there so he came out in a very freaked out uh, uh, condition. So I let him crawl up there and hide for now until he calms down. Uh, updates as required. <laughs> Atherus nishii are very cranky beasts. They uh, take no prisoners. Oh! No nishii cam, huh? This happens to be a very, very lovely girl, though. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, you're a crank pot. You're a crank pot. Oh, take that swing. Okay, see how that uh, tail sort of drops off into nothingness? Gotta be careful. Uh, come on, I don't want you going anywhere. All we want to do is photograph your tail. See how abruptly that tail uh, uh, goes down to uh, a small diameter and a short length after the anal scale? That's hallmark uh, female because in that area after the anal scale, uh, there is no hemipenis to uh, tuck away, uh, no junk to store. Uh, therefore, it's uh, it's pretty uh, pretty small. Beautiful snakes, very difficult to keep. Don't generally do well. Hey, don't bite your friend. This is another girl. This is another girl. Hello, girly. How you doing? Come on. Now, I have to get this one back in there without getting bit by, uh, by the cranky beast. Well, this will be interesting. I have to set the camera down, though, to do it. Hello, are you, are you very cranky? No, you're just shy. Uh, but I bet you can become cranky pretty fast. All right, I got to uh, get these guys back in their cage without uh, them biting one another. Well, I was checking out my friend here, the uh, pogo stick with venom, the uh, common lance head, and I noticed that she dropped a pill. Now, that's just Viper Keeper terminology uh, uh, for an unfertilized egg. Uh, she's reaching sexual matur maturity. I think she dropped uh, a pill or two last year. Uh, uh, I might have a nice boyfriend for her coming, uh, coming along. So we'll see about that. Oh, I know you want to bite the snot out of me. Look, you're killing your nose. Stop. Was that okay? He's in shed. Come on. Here you go. Now, come on. Come on, I've been very nice to you. Come on, have another. You're about to shed, you can use the water. Come on. Come on. I'm worried about his nose because uh, he lost the front part of it. And all he's got there is bone, the front part of his nose, his bone sticking out of his skull. Or, here, here, you're okay. What? You're only going to eat one? Here, I'll leave that right there. You can, uh, you can decide if you want to eat that. See, now this guy won't, <laughs> won't even think about picking up like I do the black one. 
The black one is only interested in esca escape. This guy will defend himself. Well, you guys wanted to see him. <laughs> Here is the little crazy monkey. Hello. Oh. Oh, he means business. We got a problem here, folks. Small common browns are not allowed to uh, uh, to be out and about. You can bite the snot out of the forceps. Oh, there's venom on it. Hey, are you going to be another Mrs. Brown? Huh? Don't give me that hopping stuff. You know, I'm wondering if this is not an Eastern Brown, but a Pygmy Mulga. Hello. Hello, you act awful like a Pygmy Mulga. I gotta see your, you know, I'll have to review the videotape and look at your belly. I'll have to look at your belly. I'll like you no matter what you are. How's that dude, huh? Okay, there you go. Now that brings into question uh, his behavior and I'll have to review the video and look at his belly. Look at these little cuties. Look at those. You know what they are? They're little puff adders. Oh boy, I'm hungry. Thank you, Viper Keeper. Come on, dude. Oh, you're a boy. No wonder. Come on, you're not going to be able to grow up to be big and obnoxious unless you eat. <laughs> you clumsy little dude, you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You have a willing uh, sacrifice there. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's going to touch your tail. No. Oh, don't bite your sister, you little toad. Oh, they're just so obnoxious. Yeah. Bite the mouse, you dope. Hello. Hello. Would you like that? It's very tasty. You know, sometimes if they won't tongue flick, that one, that boy is going to be a stunner, huh? That boy is going to be a stunner. Good for you, young man, huh? Come on, you can try it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, it takes a tongue flick or two sometimes. Come on. Come on, you're gonna eat it. I can see that. Come on. Come on. Oh, you yeah, missed. You got nothing but substrate. Now come on over here. Okay, there you go. Now, give your brother some space. Give your brother some space. What the hell is wrong with you? There you go. Aren't they cute? Oh my god, but if they bit your finger, it would rot off. That's amazing. The little finger rotters. And no, folks, I'm not worried about the substrate. Go ahead. You can continue eating. I'm just going to get that out of your way. There you go. Now, how can you eat while moving away from it? That just uh, boggles my mind. Okay, you guys carry on. I'm going to go and... Uh, and see if the others want more. Africa's horned bush viper, Atheris serratifora, are certainly one of the 
the, the cutest little uh, beasties uh, that you can keep. Whoa! Uh, they're also very cranky. They're, you know, they're like little chihuahuas of the uh, venomous world. They're, you know, ankle biter sort of a deal. And, and uh, they believe a, a strong defense is a good offense. Now you had quite a, quite a few to eat there, bud. Huh? That's undoubtedly a female. sort of fun to feed because they'll uh, they're generally pretty easy you don't have to worry so much about uh, force feeding with these guys only the males uh, can be problematic other than that they're they're a pretty reasonable little uh, starter uh, venomous uh, um, yeah their venom's toxic and stuff and will ruin your day may uh, May send you for a visit to the hospital, but uh, but other than that, uh, generally speaking, uh, that's about the size of it. Come on, I see your mouth is open. Whoops, sorry. You got it. Now you ate too. I know. Are you looking for something else? Huh? Now go ahead. Go ahead. Don't. Don't let my presence uh, bother you. Hi, under there. Hello. <clears throat> you know, these are high on water, low on uh, nutritional content. Uh, and they'll digest fairly quickly. You want that? Huh? Oh, you do? You do. Good for you, huh? Uh. <laughs> Good. What? Huh? What, is that camera weirding you out? I gotta watch out for the little blighter over there because it'll put, put one on me if I'm not careful. Is that camera weirding you out, huh? I'll leave you alone. <laughs> and look at you. I'm up in the tree. You're a little foul beastie, huh? I want you to get my knuckles per perforated by some of these guys sneaking around here. You're a little toughy. Look at those pupils, huh? Look at those pupils. Here, eat that before I give it to somebody else, huh? Here's all two, four, six Atheris serratophoras uh, munching on their uh, dinner. Even the male, or the known male, I think there may be one, others, one other male, it, I had to beat the snot out of him with the uh, pinky and get him to strike, and he held finally and looks like he's eating. This guy right here is on number two. Okay, okay, no weirding out. That one just likes to bite, and those that one is just sitting with it, uh, not doing anything. This one is on its second one. I have no way to hold the camera, and it, this guy has stopped, so he's weirded out. So I'm going to put the camera away. Would you like that? Oh, we're going to play this game, huh? Huh? We're going to play this game. We're going to play the bite and drop game, huh? You got it? You're going to drop it. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> Would you like that? Hmm? Good for you. Now what about you, huh? Oh, you dropped it. They get so scared uh, with anything uh, happening around them that they drop whatever they got so they can bite me. Okay. <clears throat> You're not going to eat? What about you? Huh? Huh? There you go. Good job. Up. Oh. 
a bite and let go. Huh? Okay. There you go. <clears throat> now, <laughs> I know there's bunches of them in here. You just have to sort of find them all to to feed them, huh? Would you like that? You would? Okay. Well, that's a deal. That's a deal. Now you, for some reason, are not so snappy today, huh? Oh, you got it. One, two, three, four, five of seven. Now just sort of wait. I don't want to uh, disturb them. Figures you be nosing around here, girly. about to make the buzzards happy uh, today. Hello? Hello? How are you, huh? How are you doing? Uh, that's... That's just your size. <laughs> easy. Easy, easy, easy. Don't be vicious. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you maniac. Here, 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 here. No, okay. You took it from the back end. You're going to have to deal with it. Now leave my foot alone. Is that what you want? You got it? Okay, there you go. Well, now what was that called, huh? There you go. Well, here's Mr. Colette. He decided to come out on the veranda here and uh, have his meal. Uh, even though I'm going to probably give him a rat, uh, uh, no use letting him just sit there and wonder if he's going to get fed at all. I'll give him a little appetizer. Having a chick for an appetizer is just uh, okie dokie, huh? Uh, he likes these uh, small petite chicks and not those uh, big ones. Uh, although he has the capacity to eat them. Easy, Mr. Collette. Mr. Collette, you have the utensil. You don't have the chick. Let go. Let go. Come on, bud. Come on. Stop. Come on. I don't want to hurt your teeth or your mouth. Hey, I've got problems here. Mr. Collette, get back there. Here. You take that and get out of my face. Mr. Collette. Mr. Collette. No gallivanting. Come on. Come on. Come on up here and get the chicky. Come on up here and get the chicky. Here. There you go. Oops, that's a problem. Well, there you go. That was not the easiest uh, feed, uh, was it? Hi Kermit, I see you back there, bud.
I know you're shy, Mr. Collette. We're just visiting. Hi, bud. How you doing? I know. I saw the big breath, huh? All right, I'll back off. Why don't you go back in your enclosure where you feel more comfortable, huh? Huh? There you go. Go on. Go on. Go on. Take your chicken back. Go on. Go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. Yeah, I'll give him a rat in a little while. Mr. Brown. <laughs> Mr. Brown, you are indeed a dangerous creature. Good show. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Brown, you pulled her head off again. You can't keep abusing your chicks this way by pulling their heads off. Mr. Brown, the de decapitator of chicks. Mr. Brown, have I been denying you food, huh? Have I been denying you food? <laughs> oh, you're a funny guy. You're a funny guy. Uh, last night I was giving Mr. Brown some water uh, with my long watering device here and if you fill it up all the way and you bring it up high you can tip it and pour from a distance well mr brown had to investigate the bottom of the uh, pot here so to speak uh, which was quite interesting uh, but mostly harmless